wow let's all agree that we can blossom again and this i've been encouraging myself and even encouraging um you who is watching this video now today i have a guest for the parents out there who have teenagers and young adults today i decided to ask one of the teenagers the one of the young adults who have been a teenager and now he's a young, a young adult what are some of the struggles that they go through um it might not represent him but it may represent many young adults and i was asking him uh, please help us as parents so that we understand your struggles and how we can chip in and how we can help these young adults and teenagers because majority of us parents maybe we are in darkness of what these teenagers are going through so help me um welcome one of my guests hi 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 how are you very fine wow this is interesting yes um i don't know how we're going to do this but i believe it will be so candid and um it will be so frank i'm going to ask you some questions so that you help me as a parent and parent, other parents out there who are going to watch this clip and and tell us what are some of these things because i've seen you as a teenager and as a young adult what are some of these things that we keep on talking about teenagers 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 and young adults what are some of your struggles that as parents that we need to understand mm, okay when we talk about struggles mm. most of the struggles that we go through as teenagers are basically the same that we go through as uh, young adults so they are carried over yeah uh, mm -hmm. about 80 percent of the problems that we have as teenagers mm -hmm. are carried over to adulthood mm -hmm. and uh, when i speak about problems i'm talking about issues to do with uh, sex i'm mm -hmm. talking about issues to do with drugs mm -hmm. uh, let's say career mm -hmm. trying to maintain a lifestyle that you cannot maintain mm -hmm. and also influence of your peers mm -hmm. those are just uh, some of what we go through mm -hmm. so those are the key things that you go through those are the key things yes Okay, let's start with sex. So what is this struggle about sex? And like I said, this is very hard for me. But I, I need to hear that truth. So that even as I talk to teenagers out there, even as I talk to you, I know exactly what is this problem. What is this problem about sex? Sex uh, has been a problem for a very long time. And to a major part, uh, for a major, to a major reason, uh, being uh, our parents mm -hmm. as parents now yes because sex is something that we come out we, we find out for ourselves mm -hmm. this is something that we go on to experiment mm -hmm. this is uh things that we hear from other people we see mm -hmm. basically we are not taught about it mm -hmm. we only go on to experiment mm -hmm. that's why you find most of the teenagers uh, in an age group of 17 and above are now sexually active mm -hmm. because they want to know what mm -hmm. sex Mm -hmm. and what happens mm -hmm. because this is something that they were not taught mm -hmm. as, uh, when they were young so you're saying that you want to hear as experience teaching you about sex yeah. what what do you want to hear as telling you about sex it's uh i know sex is a very difficult topic but if you ask me what i want to hear is uh as a teenager i want to know what sex is all about mm -hmm. because if i don't know what it's all about i'll go on to find out by myself and what mm -hmm. are the choices i have mm -hmm. are my friends mm -hmm. my phone and what i see mm -hmm. and the cho possibility of me being sexually active after seeing all those mm -hmm. those are people who are telling me to do it mm -hmm. those are not people who are telling me to abstain mm -hmm. we need people who are telling us about abstinence and what to do and how it all goes not mm -hmm. people who are giving us an insight to go do it mm -hmm. we need people who are just limiting us or trying to okay. help us so you're saying out there everyone is telling you to do it yes. uh, and you are surrounded like you're saying with all these phones the technology is showing you exactly and it's within your hands so you want somebody else who is telling you a different script and this someone else is me yeah. but we find we tell you not to do it but you continue doing it yeah, this is uh, one of the biggest issues we have because as a teenager is a, is a time you want to experiment. Mm -hmm. It's a time you want to know about this and that and this. It's a time where you, uh, your, friend, your friends play a big influence on your parents. 
if your friend tells you that they've had sex with about five girls, mm-hmm. you want to do it more. Mm-hmm. Do it and, and uh, maybe uh, have sex with about six girls because mm-hmm. that's what your friends are telling you. Mm-hmm. So now we're taking our friends' advice more than our parents mm-hmm. are. Mm-hmm. So now is a, a time where we parents need to take it up a notch. Mm-hmm. They need to do it more and uh, help us more because if you don't, then someone else will. Okay. So you are saying your friends actually you listen to your friends more than us yes. because this is the that, that is the age you're all doing things together and you're finding out your friends are do, having sex with five girls so you also want to have with six to outdo them mm. so if we come in and help you it will be so at what point do we come in so now you are now this young adult if i come in at this age will i be helpful at this age you won't do anything honestly mm-hmm. At this age, all the all everything, uh, basically, what you can do to someone who's at this age is, if they're already sexually active, is to help them. And what you mean by helping them is telling them to use protection. Mm-hmm. At my age, if I'm sexually active, is mm-hmm. just to advise me to be to use protection, because now we're seeing a rise in early pregnancies. Mm-hmm. We're seeing a rise in HIV and AIDS and mm-hmm. other sexually transmitted diseases. Mm-hmm. So at uh, when we're talking about a teenager or someone who's at 18 and above mm-hmm. you're talking and who's already sexually active mm-hmm. we're just trying to help them to use protection and prevent themselves from contracting mm-hmm. any disease but if, if it's a young teenager or someone who's 13 then you can advise them to to abstain mm-hmm. because now they're growing with the mentality of abstinence mm-hmm. if they did because uh, we didn't grow up with such mm-hmm. being told that no one will, we won't have a problem doing mm. it. Mm. But if you grew up being told no to sex or mm. just you know all about sex, mm-hmm. then you'll have a harder time being sexually active because okay. you know what's happening. Wow, that one is a bit difficult. And, and, and I'm, I'm talking from a parent's perspective that I need to tell my son now because you are 18 and above, or my daughter, you can use protection. But he is saying, because he's representing um, majority of the teenagers and the young adults, that we have no choice. If we realize they are sexually active, we encourage them to use protection. And parents, I know this is very difficult. And I'm talking about a Christian, an apparent Christian. Um, but he's saying there is an, an option that before they get to that, we need to arrest it. We need to tell them the truth. Such that when they get to that age, they already have their values and they can... Can you both to say no, even at that age, when you're 18, if I've instilled values in you? Yeah, it's, 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 it's made easier. You cannot say for certain yes, mm. they, they can be able to say no, mm. but it's, it's, an, it's an easier choice for them. So again, before we finish this, how do I uh, snatch you from listening to your friends and listen to me? How, how, what, what do I need to do as a parent? As a parent, you need to get closer to your son or, mm. or daughter. Mm. Because at this point, you find once your child starts maturing up and growing up, you mm. start letting them go. Mm. Especially if you have other children behind mm. them. Mm. You start letting go of the older child, mm. saying that they are older. But in short, you're, you're, you're trying to, you're almost shunning them away. Mm. So if you don't, if you're not there to guide them through it. Mm. Because this is, you're, you're an adult, yes, but you're still a young adult and you, mm. you still need some guidance for, for some issues. Mm. So what you be basically need to do is you should still, as a parent, go with your child together. Because mm. you can advise them then. If mm. you're not there with them, they'll do what they want. So you're saying, I need to be close to you before you are this age. Yeah. So we need to grow up with you. Grow up together. So you, that way it will help me to instill values. Such that now when you are a teenager, at that age you're telling me, at 17, you can be able to say no. Yeah, as a parent you should be a friend, not someone who's commanding. Because mm-hmm. we we'll listen to people who are friendly to us. Okay. So parents, have you heard that they listen to people who are friendly to them and not people who are commanding them? That's, that's so sad. Have I been your friend? Maybe. Maybe, not. maybe not. We'll look at that. So quickly because we are finishing drugs what is this all about drugs that now like every young person has gone to drugs drugs is a thrill when you think about it mm-hmm. 
it's something it's something new it's something you haven't ventured into mm -hmm. it's an experience mm -hmm. it's uh, basically it's something that you don't know mm. so what oh, as a as a young person what uh, what happens is when you think about it you want to try it okay you want to know how it feels how mm -hmm. it's all about and it's in that process that you get addicted into them so in that process you get addicted i like the word it's a thrill you know i think all all, all our young people are thinking about that word thrill then how do i help you not to to go into that thrill as a parent or anyone out there listening i think uh, it comes down to still what we said uh, earlier about sex mm -hmm. is you knowing about them mm -hmm. and you know uh, especially with drugs you can compare with sex because with drugs you can have direct references to people and you have concrete evidence of what it happens or what happens to your mm -hmm. body mm -hmm. of each and every effect of the drugs mm -hmm. so if it's something that you know mm -hmm. even if you want to try it at the back of your mind it will always be there there's this this follows after you try it. Okay. This follows, this follows, this follows. Okay. Basically just the consequences is okay. what you need. So do we do you need we address the consequences as parents or as teachers or anyone? Or what would you like to see us addressing so that we help you guys before you, you get into the thrill or into the uh, experimenting the drugs? Um, two things in my in my, in my perspective. Mm. One is we need to know about them and we need to know about the consequences. Mm. And the second thing is about the environment. Mm. If you grow up, uh, if you if your your parents and you uh, bring up your children in an environment where you are taking drugs, let's say alcohol. Mm -hmm. If a child grows in such an environment, mm. of course they will do it. Yeah. So I'm, a, I'm I'm supposed to be a role model. Yeah. So there's no way I'll take alcohol and I tell you not to take it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think we'll discuss more. And thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, I I wish we could discuss more and more. And I hope you will tell me because it is helping me and you parent there. Like you have had hit the button. We'll discuss more. Like but like you have had is you have to be a friend of your child before they be, they become teenagers. Thank you for keep watching and let's learn together all of us you can blossom again. Thank you so much.